Welcome back to the Crypto Watch channel, everyone. My name is Josh, and right now, the next Bitcoin bull market has officially started as the Federal Reserve just cut interest rates, and we've just seen the largest net inflow in history for a single day for the spot Bitcoin ETFs, resulting in massive buying pressure right now, while a possible bearish divergence is still flashing in the short term for Bitcoin, but more liquidity is building to the upside, pointing towards a possible short squeeze coming soon, while Ethereum is currently breaking out above this critical line of resistance while Solana is just about to break out towards all-time highs. So I'll be talking about all of that and so much more later in the video, so definitely watch to the end. First of all, just before taking a look at the Bitcoin charts today, we need to talk about the news today because roughly half a day ago, we saw the Federal Reserve cut interest rates by 0.25% or 25 basis points, which was the expected outcome. If you watched my last video here on the channel, this was what was expected and what was being priced into the market. So ultimately, this didn't really have a major effect on the market, at least in the short term. And as always, if you want to get extra real-time updates throughout the day, just like this one right here, check out my Twitter link down below if you want to stay up to date throughout the day. But with that being said, getting into some Bitcoin news today. And yesterday, we saw the largest net inflow into the spot Bitcoin ETFs in the history of the spot Bitcoin ETFs existing in the US. That is right. We've just broken a new record of over 1.3 billion US dollars, nearly 1.4 billion US dollars entering into the spot Bitcoin. ETFs just yesterday, just on Thursday alone. And out of that net inflow, we saw BlackRock alone buy over 1.1 billion US dollars worth of Bitcoin just on Thursday. And so obviously this helped to push the price of Bitcoin further to the upside. And if this keeps up, if we continue to see these massive net inflows anywhere near a billion dollars a day, if we see this sustainable over a longer period of time, this will eventually result in the price of Bitcoin being forced towards the upside because obviously there's a limited amount of Bitcoin to go around. So eventually with these huge inflows buying up all of the Bitcoin that's available, this will force the price upwards in a supply squeeze over the long run. But with that being said, taking a look at the Bitcoin charts today, this is on the monthly time frame, looking at the US elections, obviously going all the way back to the 2012 election, the 2016 election, the 2020 election, and the current 2024 US election that's just happened. And we can see throughout Bitcoin's history, every single time we've seen a major bull run in the price of Bitcoin that's followed over the next one year, approximately after the US elections. And this has happened despite perhaps a Democrat or Republican winning. Every time we've seen a huge bull run in the price of Bitcoin. And right now, this bull run is just starting. And if we're taking a look at the four day time frame here in the super trend indicator, obviously for some time now, this has already flipped back into the green, indicating a larger bullish trend or a bull market on the larger time frames. So, despite what happens in the short term on small time frames, when we're zooming out, looking at the bigger picture, we're looking very, very bullish right now, as I've already been saying for a while now on the channel. And if we're taking a look at the two day time frame, obviously we're continuing this huge breakout from this descending broadening wedge pattern, which is obviously bullish. This is promoting a bull run that we're seeing right now. And I've been saying this ever since we saw the breakout, and especially the retest here, back down towards around 65,000. The moment we broke out right here, that was extremely bullish here on the larger timeframes. And ever since then, we've basically had a bull run and this will likely continue over the coming months or even up to a year from now based on history. But remember, when we're zooming into smaller time frames, from time to time, we can see little short-term pullbacks here and there. So it's not 100% only bullish price action straight to the upside. Just be aware of the fact that we can see slight pullbacks here and there on small time frames in the short term. But when we're zooming out, we're looking very bullish, currently experiencing a bull run. And if we're taking a look at this daily Bitcoin chart right now, obviously we've confirmed the breakout into all time highs, well above 74,000. In fact, at the time of recording this video, we're trading around that 76K level, basically a new all time high, but we're still possibly forming a bearish divergence on the daily time frame, with higher highs already confirmed in the price and lower highs possibly forming in the daily Bitcoin RSI, but this still needs to be confirmed. So it's possibly forming, but not confirmed, not active as of right now, because we've not confirmed the lower high 
are in place in the daily Bitcoin RSI. So we still need to see confirmation in order to basically confirm this bearish divergence. So for now, ultimately, we're still looking very bullish right now. It's just this is something to watch out for in case it does actually confirm. But even if it does confirm, we'll likely just see a slight little slowdown, either a sideways consolidation or a slight pullback, maybe to retest this area. But ultimately, it will still be very bullish here on the larger time frames. And if we're taking a look at this daily Bitcoin chart, once again, we've broken out into all time highs and the next Fibonacci extension based on this Fibonacci retracement right here on the linear settings is the 1618 Fibonacci extension. And that's sitting at around 89,000 approximately as the next major point of resistance, a potential price target to watch out for now that we're breaking out into all time highs. But before 89,000, we also have this technical price target for this bullish cup and handle pattern, which is still playing out in the bullish direction. And that price target is sitting at around $80,000 approximately. So right now we're heading towards $80,000 as a bullish price target. And above that level, we have $89,000 as another price target and a point of resistance. And now if we're zooming into the much smaller time frames in the short term here, looking at the three hour time frame, right now we're still potentially forming this bearish divergence on the three hour chart with higher highs confirmed in the price and lower highs potentially still forming in the three hour Bitcoin RSI. So once again, this is a sign telling us that we might be due to see a slight little slowdown in the short term. And we already are slowing down just a little bit, at least compared to what we saw previously. We saw extreme bullish momentum right here and we've started to slow down just a little bit here in the short Short term, we can see the momentum is slowing just a small amount here. But ultimately, once again, when we're zooming out, looking at the bigger picture, we're still looking very, very bullish. And so as I've been saying over and over again here on the channel, of course, in the short term, we can see slight little pullbacks here and there that can flip between bullish and bearish when we're talking about short term, small moves. But zooming out, looking at the big picture right now, we're basically at the beginning stages of a major bull run. And if you want to take advantage of this coming bull run in the price of Bitcoin and profit, from this bull run. Personally, I take most of my trades over on Bybit, so I'll make sure to leave a link to Bybit down below this video in the description and in the pinned comment. And if you use that link below this video to make your Bybit account and deposit on that account, then you can get up to a $30,000 deposit bonus, but only if you use that link down below this video. And also, if you use that link, it'll take you to this page right here, which is a 500 USDT position airdrop. So basically a free $500 trade as your first trade over on Bybit, but that's only available if you use the link below this video to make your Bybit account and deposit on that account. So if you're going to be trading crypto anyway, you might as well check this out. Once again, first link down below this video. But for whatever reason, if you cannot access Bybit or if you cannot KYC on Bybit, there's also Bitinex, which is another crypto exchange similar to Bybit, but you don't need KYC for Bitinex, which means if you're in the US or the UK, for example, or another country where you might not be able to access Bybit, you can access Bitinex. So I'll also leave a link to Bitinex below this video. And if you use that link, you can get up to a 5.5k deposit bonus and only if you use that link you can get an exclusive 10% discount on all trading fees on the Bitnex exchange forever but that's only if you use the link below this video to make your Bitnex account and so as another option out there other than Bybit once again there's Bitnex links down below if you want to claim those extra bonuses but with that being said taking a look at the Bitcoin liquidation heat map and right now more liquidity is starting to build to the upside here in the short term starting at around 76.9k and going up towards around 77 and a half thousand. So in that price range right there, a bunch of short positions will get liquidated if Bitcoin crosses above that price range. So this is kind of acting as a magnet for the price of Bitcoin in the short term, dragging the price towards that area. And if we cross above that area, cross above around 77,000 to 77 and a half thousand, that will likely trigger another short squeeze, pushing the price further to the upside. But with that being said, taking a look at Ethereum on the weekly time frame right now, the price of ETH is still holding this line right here, this massive trend line of support, which is currently sitting at just above 2.4K. And every single time over the last two years that we've bounced from this line right here, we've seen a major bullish reaction from this line of support. And right now we're starting to see the same again. So we're just beginning the next major bullish move as we've seen previously many times over the last multiple years here. And if we're taking a look at the three-day time frame, we have now officially confirmed a three-day candle close 
above this major Fibonacci level of previous support currently acting as resistance well just recently acting as resistance but now we've broken out above that level which was sitting at around 2.8k so obviously as of recording this video the price of ETH is trading well above 2.8k and we've now seen not only a daily candle close but a three-day candle close above 2.8k which is the first proper confirmation confirming the breakout above 2.8k so obviously this is very bullish right now on the three day time frame finally flipping much more bullish again not just for the short term pumps here but talking about the larger moves here in the larger time frames so we should be expecting a run up towards close to three thousand dollars very soon and we're already close to three thousand dollars right now and more likely up towards around 3.2k as the next potential point of resistance here in the larger time frames and above that level we could also find some resistance at around three and a half thousand and then up towards around 3.9k to 4k as a major point of resistance based on these previous highs. And if we're taking a look at the 12 hour time frame, obviously we've also confirmed this breakout on the 12 hour time frame above this major area of resistance that has been holding down the price of ETH for a couple of months here. And this is sitting in between 2.7K to 2.8K. So obviously now that we've broken out and confirmed candle closes above 2.8K, this is very bullish to see on the price of ETH on this time frame right here and on the three day time frame. And so technically speaking, this previous area of resistance should now become new support. So if for whatever reason we see a slight little pullback or anything like that, this should now be acting as new support. And now it's important to understand that right now the 12 hour Ethereum RSI is indeed in overbought territories. And the last couple of times this has happened, we did actually see a bit of a slowdown and even a pullback that came next. Now, this does not necessarily mean we're about to crash right now. Once again, overall, I'm still very bullish, especially on the larger time frames. I'm very, very bullish. It's just important to be aware of the fact that in the short term, things don't necessarily go straight to the upside like this all of the time. It's very normal to see slowdowns, sideways consolidations, or slight little pullbacks here and there along the way up so just be aware of the fact that we don't always go straight to the upside like this it is also important to understand that we can see others types of price action along the way but ultimately we're still looking very bullish right now on the larger time frames and if we're taking a look at solana on the weekly time frame we're now running into this major point of resistance right here at around 205 dollars and if we're first actually taking a look at the daily time frame that's this area of resistance based on these previous highs back here and that's sitting in between around $200 to $210. So right now the price of Solana is hitting that area which means the price could possibly struggle around this area in between $200 to $210. So just be aware of that fact but obviously we've now actually confirmed the breakout above this previous significant resistance which was in between around $183 to $187. So obviously that's another bullish signal confirmed for the price of Solana on the daily time frame and technically speaking $183 to $187. 187 should now become a new support. If we see any pullback here for whatever reason, that should be acting as support. And now it's also worth pointing out that we're possibly forming a bearish divergence here on the daily time frame. Now it's also important to understand that this possible bearish divergence is not confirmed. It is not active right now because we've not confirmed the lower high in place in the RSI. So we've already confirmed higher highs in the price, but the lower high is still possibly forming in the RSI, but not confirmed. So right now, this is not something to act on. It's not active right now. It's just something to pay attention to in case it does actually confirm. For example, if we struggle around this resistance, see a few red candle closes in the price on the daily time frame, that could possibly confirm the bearish divergence, but we still have to wait and see for that. And even if it does confirm, like I said earlier, that will likely just result in a slight little pullback or sideways consolidation, basically a bit of a slowdown, a cool down from all of this bullish price action here, but not necessarily the end of this bull run. And now once we ultimately break out above this area of resistance on the daily time frame above 200 to 210 when we're zooming out on the weekly time frame the next major point of resistance above that previous high at around 210 approximately is ultimately the all-time high for the price of Solana based on the previous November 2021 bull market top and that's sitting at around $260 so that is right if we can confirm a breakout with candle closes above 210 so above this high right here, we're likely going to head pretty much straight up towards around $260. And then around there, we could find some major resistance at around $250 to $260 based on that all-time high level acting as resistance. But then obviously, once we break out above $260, we are entering into all-time highs for the price of Solana. 
And zooming into the shorter term on the small time frames here on the four hour charts, right now, technically speaking, the RSI is overbought. But remember, despite what happens in the short term on the larger time frames, we're still looking very bullish right now. And ultimately, technically speaking, this bullish divergence is still playing out, but it's basically come to an end now that the RSI is overbought. So right now, obviously, we have a lot of bullish momentum in the market. Yes, we're seeing some overbought signals right now, which could possibly result in a slight little cool off in the short term at some point soon. But ultimately, when we're zooming out, looking at the big picture, things are looking very bullish right now when we're talking about the larger trend and momentum. And once again, if you want to trade these moves in the price of any crypto, check out those links down below this video if you want to claim those extra bonuses. And if you want to actually know how to trade crypto, no matter if the price is bullish, bearish, or chopping around sideways, then make sure to watch these videos popping up right here on your screen. The video in the top left shows you how you can profit from bullish or bearish price action using long positions or short positions. And the video in the bottom left shows you how you can easily profit from choppy sideways price action. But anyway, that is everything that I have to say for today. I really hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next video.